looking back at your journey, you've kind of been obsessed with movies for a while. When was the first time you were, you actually have the memory of thinking, oh, maybe I'm going to make movies? Uh, when I was in fifth grade. Uh, so I was that young. Basically, I uh, my father, who was an English teacher, was asked to start teaching some um, after school programs as well. And one of them was a film class. So he really didn't, he loved films, but he didn't really know the equipment and stuff. So he would bring it home. And I just dived right into it. So I was like, no, 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 here's how the Bolex looks. Here, dad, no, no, here's how this camera works. So I started making films um, when I was in fifth grade. And, you know, I knew then I wanted to be the, the coolest, best director ever. Uh, was my goal, at, you know, even at that young age. That's kind of like, it's it's funny, just especially how different like culture is now and how I feel like my generation has been exposed to so much. And it's cool, even like a few decades ago, especially before social media age of like being aware of something like that, because I'm assuming there wasn't a lot of people who are directors around you where you've grown up in Massachusetts and stuff, right? No, no, I, was, I just saw it. And again, remember, this is before video cameras. So I really saw it as a tool to be able to be creative. And, and I'd seen a lot of stuff like on Sesame Street and, you know, children's programming where I was like, oh, I want to make an animation. So animation was really the first thing I was doing, you know, moving my, my uh, toy soldiers, my G.I. Joes around and moving my um, toy cars around and stuff like that. And it wasn't until I could finally reel in my sisters to be actresses. So basically they starred in every movie in those early days. And then it was like, you know, every movie I'd see. So if I saw a spaghetti Western, I would then make a spaghetti Western with my sisters as the Clint Eastwood role. And then my younger sister usually as the female in distress. That's, kind of stuff. <laughs> That's awesome. I, I kind of want to jump ahead in the story and you feel like there's something that, um, that's really important to point out, but you, 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 you're kind of growing along, making movies, dabbling, creating when you're in high school, you go to college for film and, and tell me a little bit about that journey. So, yeah, so I went to film school, which, you know, as we get into this, I don't necessarily think in this day and age you have to do, but mm -hmm. at that point I felt like that was important. So I went to Emerson college in Boston and that was the greatest thing about going to a, any kind of college where everybody's interested in the, um, the same stuff is that you begin to make your first connections and your networks that that I've still used today. Uh, we're at college who were all, you know, filmmakers and film buffs and stuff. And at that point, Ted Turner, who you may know of as uh, was started CNN and Turner Broadcasting, and you've probably heard the name. He uh, he just starting all those different uh, programs down in Atlanta. And so it was after I graduated college, there was an opportunity to go to Atlanta uh, where I didn't make much money. But, you know, one day I'm a production assistant. Another day I'm a PA, you know, and and, and then I'm now a producer another day. You know, it's like so many opportunities and it was an incredible learning experience. In all honesty, a lot more learning than I actually had done in college because colleges tend to go around film theory. So this is practical know know how and um yeah so i started looking at grants and money that i could do for my own project and uh and did a film called traveling trains which uh was a, a short movie about a blues musician who during the depression leaves his uh family to find work and then years later he's never come back his son goes looking for him on a journey so it was I'm a New Englander and I was in the South, so it was also my journey of sort of the South for myself as well.